Welcome everybody on this new course about Git and GitHub. As you can see, this is not a normal course because we don't see my face. I'm not going to record this course with the camera, but that's all right because you can see my screen and I can explain you everything about Git and GitHub. Because here I'm talking about Git and GitHub because both of them are two different products. I know you guys are mixing it all the time, but Git is the technology and GitHub is the platform that is using this technology to save your project. So basically, what is Git and what is GitHub and why we need to use this technology to save our project and to keep track of our history? Basically, Git is a version control software that helps you to track changes to files over time and Git enables you also to recall a specific version of your app. So I got this schema here, which is really simple and really easy to understand. And I got also a Nuxt.js application, which is here. But you got to know that whatever language, whatever framework you will use, you can use Git to save your project, right? Git is not specific to JavaScript or whatever. You can use Git with every framework that you are using. And you have to know also that Git is installed on your computer. So you will use it locally and then you will push your work to a GitHub repository. But don't worry, we are going to see that together. Okay, so let's assume that from the left to the right, we got the history of a project and we can see that we've got different lines which represent actually different version of the application. However, I just said version, but you can see here that in blue, we've got what we call a branch here, which is called main, which is the main branch. And we assume that this is going to be the final version of the project, the branch where we are going to put all the branch down here to, to get the final product. And we've got another branch here. So another version of the main version, which is called develop. And we've got two other one, which are feature and feature. So basically here we can say that the main branch will be the common version of everybody. Okay. So let's say that we're going to have a team and in this team, we're going to have two persons. Okay. Let's say that we're going to have Guillaume and we're going to have Tyler. All right. This is the team and Guillaume and Tyler are going to have this application in common. So we got the same version, which is the version one. Okay. And let's say that Guillaume is going to create a new branch and this new branch will be actually here, a branch called develop. And how can he create a branch? We're going to see that later, but how can he pass from this step to this one? Let's say that here on the line three, I'm going to remove next welcome and I'm going to put hello Guillaume. And suddenly I got a different version from Tyler. Tyler and Guillaume started here, but also Guillaume is finally on the develop branch, right? So on the develop branch, Guillaume here started something new, but Tyler is late. Tyler don't get this new version and Tyler is not able yet to get this version because Guillaume didn't push the branch to GitHub. Later, probably when Guillaume will push the branch, Tyler will be able to get the version of Guillaume where the line three is saying hello Guillaume. All right. So we can see here that we've got two history points here that are different from the main version. And this version is called develop because like its name says, it's a version that where we develop a version and later we will merge it into a new version. For instance, the version 0.2. All right. So Guillaume pushes his branch. So Tyler gets this version with hello Guillaume instead of next welcome. 
So Tyler will be actually here on the bottom. Let's say that Tyler would be in green. There we go. But Taylor is going to make a change from the version of Guillaume. He's going to change Hello Guillaume to Hello Tyler. So suddenly Tyler is here and Guillaume is still late because Tyler made a change. And this is why Git exists. Git exists to save locally on our computer different version of the same app. And one day, Guillaume and Tyler will ask to merge the same work. So they go like this, like this, and then like this. And then suddenly Tyler is here and Tyler moves. And here Tyler is asking Guillaume to come back to the version, but not really to come back. Here Tyler is asking Guillaume if instead of having Hello Guillaume, we could have Hello Tyler. And how Tyler can do this? He can do this by creating what we call a pull request. A pull request is actually here to say to the whole team, so Guillaume, Guillaume and Tyler, do you want this change to be applied to what? To the main branch, to the final version, the version where everybody agrees at the end. So let's come back. Tyler is asking, Guillaume if he wants the merge and Guillaume says yes. So finally, we arrive on the same level. All these levels, all these circles that you see are called commits. Those commits are changes saved into a branch forever. And those commits are just history points. And those history points here are actually used to come back in time. Because probably here, Tyler wants to come back. He wants to come back to the usual version and he's using commits to come back in time. So when Tyler is here, he doesn't get the version of Guillaume here. He doesn't get Hello Tyler, remember? He's got Hello Guillaume. And probably Tyler wants to come back to the usual version, to the main version. So exactly like copy paste and coming back, Tyler will come back to next welcome, which is here. Git is totally free. And if you want to know more about Git, you can go on git-scm.com and you can see here all the documentation, all the downloads, etc., etc., about Git. So basically, if you click on downloads here, you can download the version that you can use to use Git. Otherwise, if you are using a Mac, you can do like me here, typing sudo dnf install git dash all to install Git locally and to start using it. Once it's done, you can type git dash v and you can see if you are using Git or not. Now that Git is installed, on my computer, I would like to use Git inside my project. Why would I like to start using Git? Because I would like to keep track of the version of my current application. I would like to start here on this first point, on this first commit. So basically what I'm gonna do here inside my project, and I gotta be sure that I'm in the right project, I'm going to type git init. And I'm going to do that every time I'm going to start a new code project because I would like to keep track of the record of my project. So I'm going to type enter. And suddenly I can see that all my files are in green. I can see that I got a message using master as the name of the initial branch. Here I can see that I can type a command and we can see that I initialized my empty Git repository. What is a repository? This is basically the whole folder where I am right now. And if I look at my code editor, we can see that I'm on the branch master. And this is written in here for me, 
inside my terminal. A last thing, if you want to use the same terminal as me, you can go on OhMyZSH to install here, OhMyZSH. And here we can see that I am on the branch master. Now, on my computer, I got my first version of my Nuxt app that is saved. I am basically here on the first point. I just initiated my first Git repository. 